The Scholastic Ball Report is sponsored by UK Sports Medicine and brought to you by Central Bank, Crown Trophy, Farmers Bank and Capital Trust, Lowe's Sporting Goods, Panel Swim Shop, P-Rats, Rafferty's, Raising Canes, Roberts Insurance, Sutherland Chevrolet, and by Whitaker Bank. Welcome into the Scholastic Ball Report. Gary Ball with Rebecca Cook, my intern out of Franklin County. And uh, Rebecca, we're going to take another look at high school sports. We're winding down the season, of course, but I tell you what, this first coach, I really take my hat off to him. He's a baseball coach, so I got my hat on. Look at my baseball hat. <laughs> it's Rod Lettington from Montgomery County. He actually rescheduled a game and also missed a game to do our show. That means a lot when it means that much to a coach. Yeah, and you know, they're off to a great season so yes. far. They're 6 and 1, and they're ranked third in the uh, 10th region. So. Outstanding. Our feature is kind of a unique feature, Rebecca. How about this young man? I mean, I'm sure you've been asked out a lot of different ways. Okay? <laughs> this young man said, Coach, if I get a thousand likes, can I take your fiance to the prom? Well, what do you think happened? And he said, Yes. yes he said, and he yes. should have thought about he, that. He should have thought a that too. Bit. You're exactly right. <laughs> Maybe said about 20,000 retweets exactly. instead of 1,000. <laughs> that is an interesting feature. That's going to be our feature on the show. And our scholars are from a high school, well, you know a little bit about Franklin County <laughs> High School. Tell us about these great scholars. Yes, we have three great. Students here tonight from Franklin County um, in three different sports. We have a track and field, mm -hmm. tennis, and softball, so that should be interesting. And Tracy Spickert is here. The athletic director does a great job there. Yes. And also Jessica Catron. She's in yes. too, and she's <laughs> coaching over there now. How about yes. that at Franklin County? All that coming up. And we have another Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week as we head down 27 to Nicholasville for that Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week. And by the way, high school kids, don't text and drive. That's right, put it down from Sutherland. Chevrolet can wait, can it? You, you don't text and drive. <laughs> no, of course. Okay, <laughs> great. And Rob Oler was here. What did Rob uh, talk to us about when he was here last week? Um, actually, how you guys got the show started. Right, that's exactly this right. It's a very unique story. And in the wrap, we're going to just kind of wrap up. Of course, the season ends next week, but on the wrap, uh, Rebecca and I will kind of break things down on the season this year. All that coming up. Let's get to the best highlights in the state of Kentucky. And these highlights brought to you by Low Sporty Goods. Low Sporty Goods are down in London. In Chicago, in the annual McDonald's All American Games, four signees in action on the guys' side. And in the early going, the first Bam out of bio goes to work on the boards, gets rejected, then puts it back in. And he's fouled out of bio, playing along with Sasha Kalia Jones, one of his future teammates, takes the pass inside, gets the easy lay in. Lonzo Ball is going to LSU with the lob to Monk. And moments later, the ball will find Monk again. And guess what? Hey, the headband can get up. Malik Monk and his West team go on to win it. 114-107. Welcome back in. Gary Ball, my intern Rebecca Cook out of Franklin County. We want to thank Bob Roberts Insurance. That's right, Roberts Insurance They're out in Richmond, Kentucky. They insure half this great state of Kentucky. Speaking of Kentucky, from Mount Sterling, uh, Montgomery County, Coach Lettington's here. And Coach, you know, you knew coming back you had a great team. Did you know with what you had returning you were going to be off to this great 6-1 and one start? Well, I didn't know that we would have such a good start. Uh, you know, last year we had zero seniors and we had a bunch of returning players. Mm -hmm. Um, this year, I think we have 11 seniors. So I knew that the experience that we had coming back this year, that we would be much better to, uh, to say that we would start off as hot as we have. I, I think we kind of exceeded my expectations a little bit. That's always good to exceed the Absolutely. expectations. Absolutely. That's always good. And, Coach, can you tell us a little bit about the qualities that Trey and EJ bring on and off the field? Number one, they've got great character. Um, to, to, to have a good program in any, any sport, whether it's basketball, football, tennis, golf, Character, I think, is the most right. important thing. And both of these young men display that in the classroom, on the field, in the community. Uh, both of them are excellent students academically. They're, they're great in the classroom. And they're pretty good ball players too. Speaking of that, Trey, I understand you had pretty good stuff last night on the mound. And yes, you, you got the win. Uh, uh, tell us about your last outing. Uh, I mean, you only gave up one hit. Well, uh, started out feeling really good. Not really easy to starting, but I mean, I started the other day and I mean, 
just came out feeling good and uh, kept it up. I mean, throughout the entire game. I mean, was the velocity was, there for you? Uh, more the stuff. More the, stuff, <laughs> stuff, stuff, <laughs> more, the uh, more the breaking stuff. Yeah, yeah, well, sir. that's always good. Yeah. And EJ, how do you feel about your performance so far this season, personally and as a team? Well, as a team, I'm really happy to see how we're playing. We're, we've got on, off to a great start um, with all of these seniors we've had. But I have I've injured my leg room this year, so I'll be out for the season. Yeah. So I'm just ready for next year to play. Well, you're, you're kind of a coach on the bench there, you know. You're injured, <laughs> but, hey, you could help coach here and have a great season. You're off to a 6-1 and one start. Speaking of that, Coach, you know the 10th region is so good in all high school sports. Yes, sir. Uh, you're in your second year coaching there in the 10th region. What is so tough about that 10th region? Well, I mean, you, you've got great tr tradition there. Mm -hmm. You've got great uh, competition among uh, local teams in this area. Of course, you know, Mac Whitaker at Harrison County, he's really kind of set the standard, set the bar for the 10th region yep. in baseball. Right. Uh, he's really brought baseball in the region um, to a higher level. But there's lots of other great coaches and great programs in our region. It's very competitive. So I'm, I'm taking you like it a lot to 10th region. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. I enjoy it. Favorable. And Trey and EJ, who helped you guys early on in your career? And how has that helped you guys now? You can, get, you yeah. can go first. All right. Well, uh, it starts with the parents mostly. They uh, encourage, you know, all throughout life. And, I mean, mm -hmm. they just give you the motivation just to carry on with your dreams and just play and do what you can. You One know? thing I've noticed on this show, Trey, a good answer. Mom and Dad's always a great answer to give <laughs> yeah, yes, on sir. this classic ball yeah. report. And how about you, sir? Well, Mom and Dad helped me. <laughs> 22, yeah. but having two brothers that played baseball, too, they helped a tremendous amount. And yeah. Just every coach I've had has been there for me, too. And Coach, I like to ask the coaches because we don't get to cover a lot of baseball as, as much as we'd like to, you know, on the show because we end in April. You know, we run August to April. But uh, as you look around the area, Central Kentucky, the area you're in, what are some other teams that we should look out for this year that you think could be outstanding, like your Montgomery County team? Well, I think uh, in, in the 10th region, you've got Clark County is going to have a really good. I think, aren't they off to an undefeated start? They right are. Yeah. Well, they lost two games. I saw uh, they're on spring break okay. down in Georgia, and they lost two teams okay. from some out-of-state teams. Gotcha. But they've got a great program. Uh, Campbell County has a good team this year. Of course, Harrison County is always going to be in the mix. Uh, I think Scott High is going to be a, another very good program. Mm -hmm. I think that we've got the potential to compete in the region this year. In the area, you know, of course, Fayette County uh, and Lexington, there's just tons of good baseball in, Le in Lexington. That's the toughest region in the state of Kentucky, in my opinion, the 11th region. Uh, you know, you've got Wes Carter, he's got a kid, a uh, pitcher that threw 94 against us the other night. Right. Round County's got a kid throwing 93, 94. Wow. So there's some really, really good baseball in Kentucky, and there always has been yeah. great baseball in Kentucky. And I'm going to go ahead and say it on this show, and Rebecca, you know this from having a good coach in high school. The coaches, like yourself, at Montgomery County and the coaching in this area is just spectacular. I think that really lends to these great young athletes that we have out there on the baseball fields and, and all the high school uh, arenas really doing great things. And that's kudos to you for a great job you do there at Montgomery County. Well, thank you. I, I really look at it as, as a ministry. I mean, I really do. It's, uh, we, don't, we don't do it for the money, right. that's for sure. We don't do it for the fame. I feel uncomfortable even being here for this, this interview. But, uh, well, we appreciate we, you doing Well, thank you. But we do love kids, and we want to do the best we can to help them in life and on the field. Well, thank you, Coach. You do thank a great job. Thank you very job. much, Mr. Ball. Thank That's you. Coach thank Ludington you, from Montgomery County. What a great job he does there. Now we're going to this feature, interesting feature on this young man who found a unique way to go to the prom. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, cheer him on, guys. Cheer him on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Football can be tough. Quick hands, quick feet. Quick hands, quick feet. So is finding the perfect prom date, unless you're Grayson Blevins. I was like, hey, Coach Cox, if I get a thousand retweets, would you let me take your fiance to prom? He was like, there's no way. And then he just started laughing about it. And I was like, all right. There we go. Then it was really game on. Grayson posted it to Twitter, and the ball started rolling. In less than five minutes, I had like 70 retweets. I was like, oh my gosh. Coach Cox didn't think I'd get at least 20. Thanks to some Twitter heavy hitters, including former UK football and current NFL star Jacob Tammy, it took little more than a day for Grayson to get those thousand retweets. Coach Cox says he never saw it coming. No, and that's on me for uh, underestimating the power of social media and the uh, resilience of my kids. Uh, just to be honest with you, it's funny. I didn't think in a million years that he'd get a thousand retweets, much less do so in like 28 hours. But he did, and everyone who helped out had some fun with it. As for that April 23rd date on the calendar, I think he's going to go through with it. I hope so. I'm not sure, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, uh, it might be dinner for three. Uh, plans have yet to be determined, but uh, I think it'll be a fun night. We go power out. 
In Mercer County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. And back into our most popular segment on the show because it highlights a great student athletes doing good things in the classroom, not just the fields and the courts and everything. With Rebecca Cook from Franklin County, Gary Ball, and our scholar athletes are from Franklin County. Welcome to the show, everybody. Thanks for coming in and joining us on the show. Let's start with Mr. Matthew. Since you're the closest to me, yes, we're real cozy here, aren't we, Matthew? Yes, but you are a 3.85 student. That's outstanding. That's a little bit higher than my GPA at Boone County, just a little bit. <laughs> But uh, so congratulations for that. Thank you very much. Uh, how would you assess the track season? I know you're really early into the season so far. Well, uh, so far we've had a we've had one track meet, and uh, there there's one before that as well. But I had missed it for a previous uh, extracurricular activity, mm -hmm. and so uh, this Saturday we actually have a track meet at Transylvania University for the top throwers in the state, and uh, I'm just looking to progress from last year. Last year I made it to state. I ended up coming in 16th as a wow. sophomore. So I'm looking to better upon that this year. You have a great radio voice. Have you ever thought about <laughs> this business or what we're doing? Have you ever thought about it? Okay. Yes, okay. <laughs> and Kelly, you have a 3.86 GPA and you play tennis. What did what you, you just say? A 3. Point what? Eight wow. Six. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, what do you enjoy most about your teammates? Well, my teammates and I, I feel like we're really supportive of each other because we'll just be out there and it'll be really cold and windy and we're supporting each other <laughs> and just waiting for the match to end, really. But oh. we'll be, <laughs> we'll be um, on court talking to each other and we'll just be like, are you winning or are you losing? And either way, we're going to be like, come on, it's okay, and just like encouraging each other along the way. And Sydney, not only are you doing great in the classroom, you're coming back from an injury. I believe it was an ACL, so congratulations yes. for that hard work, Thanks. getting back to the softball field with Miss, uh, Coach Miss Jessica here, uh, or Miss Tracy, Tracy over here. Yes. <laughs> you can play tennis if you want to. Yeah, okay. But, you know, uh, talk, to us about, talk to us about your softball team and how the season's gone coming back from your injury. Yeah, well, we're very early in the season so far. We only have played two games. So we're still kind of working out some jitters and some kinks here and there. But mm -hmm. it's, it's going pretty well so far. I think we'll have a pretty good season. And Coach Speaker, do you think it's more difficult to be a student athlete today than it was back in the day? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> back in the day, say, when I was a student athlete. <laughs> Definitely so. I mean, there's just so, there's so many more distractions that are out there for these teenagers and so many other activities that they're, you know, years ago didn't exist. And Jessica, how about you? You know, when you look at these student athletes and you see the great grades they're making in class, that has to kind of spark you too as a coach to maybe want to, you know, even help them more so because of what they're doing, the hard work they're putting in. It is. It is. Um, you know, and it's great things that they do in the classroom. From me being as a teacher and, and being, you know, teaching for 12 years, seeing how hard they work there and then the hours that they spend in after 4 o'clock in the afternoon and, and the hours that they do there trying to work and just be that better, you know, scholar athlete and doing things in the classroom and doing things out on the court as well. Doing it the right way. Yeah, so exactly. Matthew, what keeps you focused in the classroom and also on the track field? Uh, well, it's kind of different for both uh, atmospheres. In the classroom, I kind of just keep focused on what class I'm in for that period and just go to the next period. I don't try to think of what's ahead of the day. I just focus on that. and. Then I kind of block out everything else. I don't think about what's going on after school or what happened before school. I just try to focus on getting it done. And while you're speaking there, I'm hearing you doing the announcements at Franklin County High School with the loud system. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Right. That, that boy, he's got a voice, doesn't he? It's, it's, it's really good. I mean, you know, I like it. So let's go to Kelly and Sydney, wrap it up here. But uh, talk to us uh, about Franklin County, how it's prepared you for after Franklin County. Well, it's taught me a lot of responsibility. I think with softball and in the classroom, I mean, I have to be accountable for myself and accountable for my teammates and people in my classroom to get the job done. So I think that'll help. Well, I agree it's taught me responsibility, but also this year I didn't know what I wanted to study or major in, so right. I took a variety of classes and my anatomy class especially helped me because it decided like what I wanted to do. I want to be a nurse mm -hmm. and it made me realize that I wanted to further my education in Spanish, so I really think it's helped me decide what I'm going to do after high school. These are a prime example of why we started the show. Young kids like this is doing great things in the classroom. Coach Spickard, uh, Coach Cat, y'all keep up the great work. Each one of you, passels down, we'll get a beautiful plaque. I remember them this time. Uh, take those to Crown <laughs> Trophy, and Mr. Tyson will put your name in school there for free. Great job, and we really appreciate your time here during this busy week, and, and good luck with you and your announcing, too. Okay? <laughs> you need to pursue that a little yeah. bit. I'm take it from a, well, not a pro, but take it from somebody that does <laughs> That is the uh, Franklin County Scholars. Now we're going to this Sutherland Chevrolet. Drive of the week.
Here's your Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week. It's Chandler Stewart of Woodford County takes it into the trees and scores plus the foul. And then Stewart does it again. The crossover, the basket, and the bucket. Take another look at it. Chandler Stewart of Woodford County. However, Franklin County would go on to get the victory. I'm WKYT's Lee K. Howard with your Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week. Back in uh, UK Sports Medicine, Rob always here, Rebecca Cook, Gary Ball, and, and Rob, you know, uh, you and I have talked about this, but uh, it was on a practice field it many was. years ago at, at Tate's Creek Senior High School. We were both a lot younger back then. Yes, we were. We were. A lot better looking. A lot, lot, lot better looking and a few pounds ago, too. <laughs> yes, yes. But anyway, back to that. We had a little discussion, and, yep. and I threw this idea out there, and, and uh, you liked it. So. Yeah, I mean, it was a great opportunity, I think, for uh, to highlight student athletes throughout the state of Kentucky. And... Uh, we, I saw this as a great opportunity, as well as yourself, to uh, to do this to uh, to uh, to highlight the student athletes, their accomplishments, right. not only academically but athletically as well. Yeah. And uh, it's been a great opportunity for us as UK Sports Medicine to be a part of it as well. And, and Rebecca is a young lady who plays basketball. Yes. Uh, the show it, it highlights all sports. You know, it that does. Was, that was a key to the show. And that was a key to the show back when we talked about this yeah. 15 years ago. Is it? Uh, the concern is, is like we highlight just football or just highlight just basketball. I mean, you highlight every sport, football, soccer, marching band, yes. golf, my tennis. tennis. My daughter was a, an academic scholar of the week two years ago, right. and she played golf for Tate's Creek. So right. uh, it's, 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 it's awesome that you're able to uh, highlight all of these different athletes. Well, it's been a that. great partnership with UK Sports Medicine. We couldn't have done it without you guys because you've been the title sponsor for many years, and we appreciate everything you do for the heights. And also, you you can't say enough about what you do for these Fayette County and you know surrounding counties. Right. What you do for we, these we take care of 17 different high schools yep. around the area, uh, and uh, providing sports medicine coverage to all these different athletes. Uh, and unfortunately, there are many high schools in the state of Kentucky that don't have athletic trainers yeah. available. So we are kind of that resource for those coaches and parents as well to uh, to uh, find us to help them get them back in the game. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say this before we wrap up this. Congratulations to your own Carson Williams for winning Mr. Basketball. I'm very proud of Carson Williams. Uh, he's one of our uh, schools at Owen County that we take care of. We've taken care of Owen County for 10 years. Yep. Can't say enough about Carson Williams being a great individual on and off the court. Number one in his class academically. Number one he was in on this class. show, as yes, a matter of fact. Yes, sir. Number one in his class. Congratulations to him. And uh, thanks to UK Sports Medicine. There's a website and her phone number, Rob Ullery. Just a, a great job over there at UK Sports Medicine. Now we're going to these final highlights. These highlights brought to you by P Rats. Think outside the corporate black box. Let's go back to the girls for the McDonald's All American game. And also in the United Center, of course, and Lindsay Cassaro. She's coming to UK, gets the rebound, puts it back in, draws the foul. In the second quarter, here's Miss Basketball in Kentucky. You know her as Erin Boley out of Elizabethtown. She will hit the turnaround. She had 13. She's going to Notre Dame. But last night, the West came back to win it in overtime. Fun game, 97-88. Welcome back. I want to thank Montgomery County again, Coach Lettington, for rescheduling his whole baseball uh, team and everything to come and do our show. The great scholars from Franklin County, and you're from Franklin County. I yes. think you got a question for our track star. Um, Matthew, tell us a little bit, a little bit, a little bit about the uh, track meet coming up on this uh, Saturday. Well, this Saturday there's a meet at uh, Transy, and uh, they take the best throws in the state based on their distances from the previous year, and they send an email to your track coach or your throwers coach, and they invite you from that. Well, good luck. Congrats on that. Thank you very much. And uh, keep playing tennis out there, okay? I'll sure try. Yeah, as, uh, even when it's cold. As always, <laughs> on the Scholastic Ball Report, for those you see and those you don't see. Keep your eye on the Scholastic, Scholastic Ball, Ball Report. Report. The Scholastic Ball Report was sponsored by UK Sports Medicine and brought to you by Central Bank, Crown Trophy, Farmers Bank and Capital Trust, Lowe's Sporting Goods, Panel Swim Shop, P-Rats, Rafferty's, Raising Canes, Roberts Insurance, Sutherland Chevrolet, and by Whitaker Bank.